What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing Soma, or at least beginning our playthrough of Soma. Um, if you guys don't know what game this is, it is a brand new horror game that I am beyond excited to bring to you guys. Um, and I don't know exactly what to expect with it. I expect it to be fantastic because I expect it um, to be at the same level or higher as Frictional's other games, which, if you don't know, are Amnesia, Penumbra, those series. Uh, this game is made by people that made Amnesia, by the way, if you did not know that. And I have heard nothing but spectacular things about this game. So, with all of that in mind, let us get right into this. So, I did start a game just to get the recording set up, but I didn't watch shit. Uh, just yet. So I'm going to show up for this little part here because there is a cutscene at the beginning uh, and let us watch. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Yeah, that's nothing. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley... I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Munchies. Why is there never enough time? For what? It's all just a dream. It was all just a dream. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Bye! Anyways, getting into this game looks like we are just waking up in uh, in the game at least. So I wanted to uh, mention to you guys the amount of awesome fuck yeah, but the amount of awesome um. What did I put the trace for me? Sorry, the amount of awesome support that you guys had given me. Uh, get well soon, love, mom. Oh, that's kind of cute, but. With all the support, there was also a lot of criticism, of course, like I asked you guys to. And a lot of it still I'm working on. Like, as you can see, the lighting is very different right now. Uh, I know I am much darker on screen, but I hope this works for now. I hope it's suitable for you guys for now. And with all that in mind, let's get right into this game. So we got to find this tracer fluid that we're apparently supposed to drink. Uh, would it be in the fridge? Uh, what is this? Whoop. Why does he have a rock in his fridge? Man, I, sh I should apply to the face clan. Oh. Thought that was like a baguette or something, but let's see here. So, according to everything that I've heard everybody's saying so far... What is this? Like a little postcard. I've been hearing nothing, like I said, but fantastic things. Hold on, let's read this. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Face Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. New prescription. So this was two days before. Dear Mr. Jared, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. All right, cool. And Saturday off. <laughs> Apparently, this is forgot a... to hit send. Okay. Does it matter? Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, Sh shut up. I'm reading. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck. You'll need it. From Simon. Alright. Sure. 
I'll just send my email right Better now. Better late than never. Better late than never. What's this? When's that little drawing? I don't know. Man, I can't read shit. Alright, wait. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, yeah! Oh my god, I got long ass arms. Fujara! Alright, hang on. I want to take this bobblehead. And, alright, here's my application to the face. Ooh! Alright, whatever. Not gonna give him more than one shot. Let's go into the bathroom. Did I leave my tracer fluid in the bathroom? Alright, fuck you. You're not tracer fluid. And, what is it? Whatever. Oh. And he shoots. He scores! Okay. Tracer fluid? Tracer. Tracer fluid? Why would it be in the shower? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when uh, I get okay, back. Okay, fine. Fine. Beep. Oh, there's lights. Alright, cool. So maybe it's just the lights on in here. Boop. Oh, Xbox. Wait. View text. View. Massive recoil. Why? Well, <laughs> guess I could have read that one on my own. Yeah, let's see. Dude, where the hell? Floop. What is this? To Simon Jarrett. Okay. Well, guess I'm not reading it. Um. Um. Where? If. Get the fuck out of here. Honestly, where in the heck could I have put this? God, God damn it! Fuck! Dude, I can't get that plate out of the sink. All right, um, is it in my bedside drawer? No, but I can get my cool sunglasses. Put them on. All right, he's not putting them on. Uh, what about in this one? All right. Hooked by Robin McConnell. Thank you. Beep. Hey Simon. It's Hi Stacey. Simon. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. <laughs> End of message. <laughs> Love you, miss you, mean it. I swear that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email on. Yeah. He must have caught up by now. Mapping Minds by Albert Isaacson. You know, this is all interesting and everything, but Someone's where's coming. this goddamn That's a good one. shit? No, get off the computer. Get. get. Alright, what? You know, who is that? Hey, that's me. Hey, that's me. I'm so handsome. Alright, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out of here. Unless, unless I find it within like the next couple of seconds. I'm fucking out. Is it? Is it in here? No. Wait. No. <sighs> All right. I really should drink the tray. God damn it! Where the I fuck? Doctor Munchie. Yeah, whatever. I got. Okay. So. Where the fuck is it, dude? What in tarnation? All right. Is it in the microwave? No. Is it? Okay. Did I leave it in the fucking oven? No. Is it in... Oh my... Did I leave it in the pizza box? Is it in this tray? Where... Ah! Where is it? <laughs> oh my god, why is this game already so hard? I'm so fucked. Stop making noise. Stop. 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 Fuck out the way! Get out the way! Good landing. Good landing. Eh. Are you kidding me? Mm. There it is. Are you kidding me? It only took me three and a half goddamn years! Alright, glug glug glug. Feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Yum. Very descriptive. Alright, so we got our keys, we drank the trace of fluid. Took us only ten fucking minutes to find it. Let's get out of here. By the way, my face is covering like the little icon that says I'm saving. So just, or like auto saves going off. So just so you guys know. Hey everybody, what's going on? Osgood, next station is Osgood. Arriving at Osgood. Alright. Osgood. 
Osgood, coffee. You gonna pick that up? Oh, okay. I guess that's my phone. Nope, okay, I guess I'm not gonna pick that up. Never mind. Never mind. So, am I getting off here? Is this my stop? No? Okay. Well, I'll take this chance to talk for a second. Because I was reading all those things you guys were telling me about, uh, first of all, I did try and equalize out the audio levels so it was a little louder in the game, try and match my voice a little bit. Also, like I, I keep looking at my my camera right now, and it's so dark, but it feels like it doesn't stand out as much like you guys were mentioning. So we'll see how this works out as the game goes on, but okay. So did we... Hello? Dr. Munchie? All right, this place is nice and eerie. Let's go. Head this first. Is the place, right? It must be. Uh, sure. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Beep beep beep. No answer. Dr. Munchie, can you hear me? Hello. Hello? Okay, maybe there's a key somewhere. All right, so. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop on the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. All right. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab letter this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use the computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Alright. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mail or text, but I'll leave a note in t or, of, or something in case we forgot. Alright. So there's a note or something somewhere that will... Okay. A note or something somewhere that will allow us to uh, get in. Fucking woo! Oh. All right. Uh, let's see if we can find this note or something somewhere. Is it the paint? Is it? It's got to be the paint. Wait. Aha. So maybe in the drawers. Probably in the drawers. Um, what does that say? I have no idea what that says. Alright, whatever. Get close. Alright, open. How about this one? Trial and error. One, two, three. Okay. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of reading. Never mind. I don't want to do that. Uh, whoop! Whoop! Damn, this guy's got an arm. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, let's see. So. Is there anything I'm missing anywhere? Anything? Hello? Alright, wait. What about the buttons over here? Boop, 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 boop. No? Okay. Um. Excuse me, sir. Ah! It's so bright. Hey, look, there's a. Hey! Hey! Hey, look, it's me! Wait, no, that's not me. That's some guy walking. Um. By the way, these puzzles are going to probably jump around here and there um, with editing and shit because I'm goddamn slow and like to take my sweet time uh, whenever I'm doing things like this because, I'll be honest, I'm not... Huh. ZQ8... That can't just ZQ8 on that. All right. Anyways, um, I like to, I do like to take my sweet time, and I'm uh, also, honestly, kind of dumb when it comes to puzzles sometimes, uh, as you may or may not find out. But it's okay. So maybe it is on this long ass one that we have to read. And put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Okay. Very highly unlikely. Um. We need a code. 
Alright. Well, we figured that one out already. So, definitely... Uh... Maybe if I turn the lights off, then jump back up here. Hey, yeah! No? Okay. Maybe? What's... what's uh... What is what is that noise that he's making? Okay, so that's probably not gonna work. Uh, ooh, 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 ah, ooh. All right. So maybe if I use this paintbrush. Maybe if I use this paintbrush, yeah, right, it didn't work at all. Hold on. Hang on, we're trying it. I'm glad it took me 20 minutes to figure that shit out! Jesus! Alright, you know what? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little angry right now. What is going on in here? Fuck you! Fuck this bottle. Fuck, you know what? Fuck that bottle. You know what? Fuck this syringe. Right, what else? Is there? What else can I say? Fuck you too. All right. Uh. uh anything else? Anything? Anything else? Want to feel my wrath? Fuck you, mouse. All right. Well, it looks like there's nothing else in here. What if I turn on the light? Damn! The force of my face is strong. Alright, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just... Shazza! Hello! Oh, Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Well, I would love to. I would. Ju I would just love to. You know what? But first, fuck this mouse. You know what? You really like just. Ugh! All right. Now, do I just sit down? Okay, I'll sit down. Let's go ahead and get in the chair for you, Mr. Munchie. Mr. Munchies. You're a delicious snack, aren't you? Virtual reality gaming. All right, I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. All right. Canada, Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. That's yeah, right. close to my birthday. Right. Paragraph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Forehead. Say cheese. Did I do it? Oh no, that just made me jump. Like, there's. I don't think there's any reason for that to have just made me jump like it did. What happened? Ooh. Where am I? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? I would say something has gone terribly wrong. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? I would say something has most definitely gone 
horribly wrong. Don't you disobey me. Insert Omni Tool to access, okay? Where's my Omni Tool? Give me my Omni Tool. Is it this box? Unlock terminal from service console, okay? Is that blood? Hmm. Where's the Omni Tool? Eh. Yeah. Oh, toolbox? Okay. You have to break that. Okay. Huh. Huh. Ta da! Hit. There we go. Now, well, I gotta say, this place looks sufficiently awesome. And I'm not really sure what to expect yet. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Mr. Manchi. Hey, it's me. Uh, what's my name? What is that? I don't know. I forget my name already, I'll be honest. Something, something Jarrett. David, David Jarrett. David, we're gonna call him Franklin. Alright, we are now Franklin. And... Open. So, based off of what I know from past Amnesia, right? Because, as you guys know, I played through the game of Amnesia. Amnesia The Dark Descent, if you guys don't know what that is. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. Oh. Wait, wait. Hang on, what's going on? What was that? Hey you. Can you talk? Can what? You talk like the others? Why are you like this? <laughs> you want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? What I do? Stop it. What I do? I'm pretty puzzled as to what I did right now. I will not lie. All right, so let's see. As I was trying to say, hello, hello. As I was trying to say earlier, I guess I'll just keep taking my chances where I get them. Um, since I played Amnesia, and I know, like, kind of how the frictional game people like to play their... Probably not the right way for me to go right now. Maybe I should go that way. Hello? Alright, I don't see anything yet. The Omni Tool. 
Haha! I have the Omni tool. All right, cool. That'll help, right? Yeah, I'm sure it will. So maybe we can go back to that place and uh, access that thing that we couldn't access originally, Rhea. Yellow. Yellow! I have the Omni Tool! Insert Omni Tool to access. There we go. Man, I'm gonna close this door. Because I don't trust that door being open. Service console up to 3, including pilot seat activated. Look at all this. ES3 unknown contamination in use, in use. I don't know what any of that means, alright? Back. Omni tool. Unlock toolbox. I know they told you that field technicians huh. would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. Fair. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus. Whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? Stay out. You shove that on the tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need oh. to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and hit back. Manage the Cortex chip. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition. You are currently being served by default onboard intelligence. Note that installing the Cortex chip, okay. Okay. I have no idea what any of that means. Let's see here. Tool chip found. I did it! I did it! I put a tool chip in! Update it. Please remove on the tool. Ta-da! Updated. Ta-da! Alright, what can I do now? And fuck that. I'm the tool chip installer. I know they told you that Wait, no, stop, 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 stop. We already talked. Oh, uh, what's this? Okay. So what can we do over here now? That doesn't mean anything to me. None of that means anything to me, I gotta say. Reports? Uh, let's see. Semkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's symptoms. No indication of what created this anomaly. Okay. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting. Performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. You got it. You got it. Alright, well let's go take a peek and see, uh... See if we can find anything to do. Huh? How's that sound? Alright, so apparently... A lot of people saying this game is kind of like... Kind of like Alien Isolation. Um, I'll accept that as a good thing. Something coming from over there? Friend? Buddy? No? Okay. You know, I don't, I don't know. 
don't know about all this darkness everywhere. A lot of darkness in here. Alright, well, I'm making a shit ton of noise. Hey, this is open! Hey, guys! Hey, what's going on? I gotta say, that doesn't sound pleasant at all. But it's probably fine. Just walk by it. Probably okay. What's down here? Swipe on me tool. Okay. Ta-da! I did it! Whoa. Suppose we'll just walk on through then for now. See what we can do. Hello? Oh god, there's a safe spot. What is that? Alright, just put your finger in it. What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Well, that's good. Shenna, oh god. Man, come on. Man, I am very agile. Woo! Woo! Can you imagine how tiny this guy must be to be able to spin like that? Alright. So, so far, nothing but uh, little, little tiny jumpy things are happening. But as I keep trying to say, in Amnesia... Things were built up, the atmosphere was amazing, well done like this. And that's what horrified you. Instead of just cheap jump scares. So, I'm really looking forward to this. Because I love games like this. So, I do apologize in advance if I don't seem to be speaking much. Because I'm, uh... Well, first of all, I'm not in entirely sure what to say um, because I want you guys to feel immersed you know I want you guys to be enjoying the story of this game with me because apparently I've been hearing that it's very very well done story wise as well so if we can enjoy that together it would be awesome what is that a way out -na 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 -na. oh man Hello? Hello? Tis I, Franklin! Hey, can you hear me? Mr. Robotman? Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Hey, let go. I need it. Well, then talk to me. What I went and did. I'm not sure what I went and did, but now I feel like a jerk. Okay. No? Am I missing a button here? Oh. Ta da! Oh. 
What'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? So I'm not 100% sure what I've done. But fuck you! There we go. Right, so let's see here. What does it say? Don't touch the structure, gel leakage. Oh, what is it? What? Hey. What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? Franklin. I'm Simon Jarrett. Shut up. And what do you? Ah, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not. There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay, lady. I'll be there soon. Hopefully. And with that, episode one will end. If you guys are enjoying this so far, if you're interested in seeing... If you're interested in seeing what that was... Then make sure you stick around for the next episodes. If you guys are enjoying this so far, make sure you do leave a like and a favorite. It does help me out. And, as always, I love you guys. It'll be a wonderful day. Peace!